Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we check out the Chase Bliss Mood Pedal. Let's get it. Guys, I am so excited about this video. It's insane. It's actually sponsored by the good folks at Chase Bliss. They told me they would send me over the mood pedal to try out and I have to be honest, I was intimidated to say the least. You know that this is gonna be a rather in-depth pedal when your manual looks like this, you know, it's just like photographs and a whole lot of instructions. The note that they included in the in the manual here made me feel a little bit better. It says, it may seem overwhelming and difficult for users to take this all in at first. There is just no way that I can cover everything that this pedal can do simply because it just is that kind of a product. It's wild. You have your typical input and output on this thing, but you also have the ability to plug in MIDI and expression. You have two switches to activate two different sides of the pedal. The left side allows you to activate either reverb delay or the slip. The right switch activates, it's always listening, very scary, always listening looper. Then you have corresponding knobs, for example, a time knob, a modify knob, which do different things depending on this effect that you have pulled up. You have a mix slash ramp, a clock, you have another modify and a length for the loop side. Not to mention you do have all of these dip switches that you can alter stuff with. We're not gonna mess with those today, but you can. The one thing I will say is the manual is very good as I showed you earlier with giving you different settings to sort of give you a starting point. We'll go on this journey together to hear what kind of sounds we get. I don't know what this pedal is going to produce. I purposely didn't listen to other demos in preparation for this review. I just wanted to hear what this thing purely sounded like out of the box. So I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be using my Nick Johnston Schechter guitar and we're going to hear what we get out of this thing. <laughs>
This pedal is insane. It's insane. Just like I imagined, it's just too much to sort of comprehend everything that's going on. I can get really amazing tones out of this thing. I didn't anticipate being able to slap this thing on a pedal board and purely use it for like these ambient tones. I honestly thought that it was gonna be a wacky thing with a little bit of playful and reverb and delay, not realizing that it, it can be playful, but it could also be super ambient and super usable for everyday tones that I use here in the studio. But we also saw the wacky side, the stutters, the sort of uncontrollable wackiness that I didn't really understand too much. I was playing a certain, certain chord and the pedal was maneuvering that chord the way it wanted to, to the point where it wasn't even in the same key. So I'm sure there's manipulations to all of that, but I just was kind of, I wanted the pedal to speak for itself. I didn't want to mess with it too much. I wanted to see what I got from it immediately. The looper side is so interesting. You could almost use it like a freeze pedal, literally halting a note or a phrase and being able to play on top of that. This is the perfect pedal for ambient players, especially players who like to sort of create ambience on the fly. You can easily do that with this pedal. We talked about all of the pros this product has. Are there any cons? It's not one of those pedals that you can take out of the box, slap it on a pedal board and go gig with it. You have to spend time time with it. Is that really a con? Not really. I think ultimately a pedal like this inspires you both in your playing and your practicing and in your songwriting, your creativity. I want to once again thank the amazing folks at Chase Bliss for sending this over. I am so honored. It just blows my mind that companies like that are taking a chance on this channel and it's because of all of you, the support that you have shown me throughout the last year plus and uh, it's just been fantastic. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you think of this pedal, how you would use it, how how you use it, offer up settings and parameters that I didn't cover on here so that we can get to know how you use this pedal and it'll inspire some of us to maybe change our settings on this pedal and chase after some of the sounds that you get. While you're down there, please do all the things that help this channel grow, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Check out some of the links and the discount codes that I have available in the description box below. Clicking on those links do help the channel out just a little bit. You can also donate to the channel directly by clicking the thank Thanks feature that YouTube now includes in all of our videos. Guys, thank you so much again for watching and until next week.